Hey guys, today on Kuno DIY we're going to be replacing the brake light switch in our 1966 Mustang. So stick around if you'd like to see how I did it. Alright guys, so we're going to be replacing our brake light switch right here. Uh, reason for replacing it is it is constantly illuminating the brakes right now. Uh, now granted on my Mustang right here, I have a collapsible column from a 68 or 69 Mustang. Um, and it's just, it's hidden on the column right here. Um, so that, and I've got a five speed in here. So it's, none of this is kind of stock right here. So, um, originally when I put this in here, it wasn't making contact. So I actually put a little bit of a, a spacer in there. I soldered a, a spacer onto the existing brake light switch and it was working okay, but now it's kind of giving me some issues. So I'm going to take that one out and we're going to go ahead and uh, put in a new one. And, uh, hopefully that'll take care of our problem. All right, guys, so in order to get this old brake light switch out of here, um, it's kind of hard to see, but back up in there, underneath, in between the pedal and the steering column up above it, uh, there is the brake light switch, and it's got a cotter pin holding it in. So we first got to remove that cotter pin, and I apologize if you can't see that right there. Uh, let's see if I can get up a little bit closer in here, if you can see that. Uh, but we need to pull that cotter pin out first, and then uh, we should be able to start removing everything. So let's... Give it a shot here. Okay, so here is the pin that we're that we pulled out of there. And now everything should just pop apart here. So back up in here, there's gonna be a washer. A little plastic washer. But oh and by the way, everything will probably fall back there. Uh, so you got your little plastic washer, and then you should be able to pop it out of here. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do right here is I'm going to have to, like again, because I said I have a bigger steering column than usual in here and a different one, I'm going to have to loosen the bolts right up in here to drop it down a little bit so I can get access to the uh, brake light switch. got it off of there. Here is the old one. Let's go back up to the bench here and I'll show you what I was talking about here. Okay, so if you look in here, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but this is where I soldered in a little bit of a thicker piece of metal right here uh, to make a contact uh, when I press the brakes down correctly. Um, now it's giving me some issues, um, so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to put this one back in and hopefully this one should solve the issues that I was having right there. The main problem is is my steering column again and my brake setup and all that it's complete it's not stock so that that's why it's giving me some issues here so uh, hopefully this will work this new one okay now that we have the old one out of here we're gonna try and put the new one on so here's my brake pedal right here it's already got one of the washers on it right here so i'm gonna need to put this on around it's gonna have to go this way and it's gonna go around my push rod right here uh, that goes to my power booster and then we have another washer and a clip that goes on the other side let's try and get this in here Okay, so in order to get this in here, I had to drop this side down all the way 
And now I'm gonna push it back up and reconnect it. Okay guys, so all that's left now, now that we got this back in here, is we're gonna reconnect our two wires. There we go. That plastic piece will protect everything right there. And we should be good now. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's first turn on our running lights. Which it looks like they work. I don't know if you can see that, there's the, the glow back there. And then let's push on the brake pedal and let's see how it works. Yeah, I'd say that works. All right, guys. So that's all there is to replacing the brake light switch in your 1966 Mustang. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It uh, really helps out. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next project.